We are now just 10 days away from the Aztecs opening game on the road against the Stanford Cardinal. Uh, we're bitterly disappointed at the lack of respect and the preseason polls that the Aztecs are getting based on their success over the last few years. Again, only six schools have had as many wins over the last three seasons as the Aztecs, but that's okay. You know, you don't believe it until you see it. Joining us right now, if you want to know who would be on our radar to be the next All-American at San Diego State, Tariq Thompson is definitely on that list. Last year, unanimous freshman All-American. Tariq is on with the Cannons once again. Tariq, how are you, man? I'm good, you? We are doing well. Think back a year ago, Tariq, here you were, a uh, freshman, true freshman, first guy to start on defense as a true freshman for the Aztecs in nine years or eight years. Uh, and then the tremendous success you had. Were, were you surprised at how quickly you seemed to adapt to the college game? Um, I was definitely surprised, but with the help of Coach Long and the other defensive coaches, it was a quick transition. Um, I feel like without the help of the senior leaders last year, like Trey Lomax, Cam Kelly, and the defensive line that helped me uh, as a defense, uh, I wouldn't be successful as I was. And I'm just continuing trying to get better to have a better season this year because I have a lot of improvement to make. Tariq, it's tough to start as a freshman on any team, but then that that mad scientist who's your head coach in his three three five defense, how much tougher did it make it to adjust? Uh, I mean, the defense is very complicated, but at the same time, he made sure that I understood what I was doing, and they kind of simplified it. So me and the other teammates that I have, just learn, like, learn how to adjust on the fly and be thinkers on the field because you never want to think too much, but not thinking at all can get you get too messed up in a lot of assignment errors and other stuff that can affect the game in a negative way. Tariq, you know, it's always fun to see uh, your son out there playing uh, college football, but for your dad, I mean, wow, I mean, your dad was a safety at San Diego State. How, how much – was that on your mind when you started last year, knowing that you were playing the same position as your father played at the same school? It's kind of funny because, you know, uh, when I was younger, I used to go to all the SSU football and basketball games because, you know, it's a great school. And my dad's, uh, uh, I want to say, uh, one of the top alumni because, I mean, he's he's trying to play SSU and me and my cousin had since we were little. <laughs> and it's just funny how it worked out because, I mean, I love it here and I wouldn't change it for the world. Tariq, you guys are, I would assume, looking right now square at, at Stanford for the, the opener of the season. As Steve said, not a lot, a lot of respect for the Aztecs as far as the preseason polls are concerned. What do you guys expect up in Palo Alto? It looks like a good game. I mean, we're coming in as underdogs, which, I mean, we like that role because we never want to have, we never want to be underachievers, we want to be overachievers, and I believe that People are giving us a fair chance to win the game, and we're ready. I mean, these practices, we've been showing that we're improving, and as a collective unit, I feel like we're going to be ready to play. Well, and the fact that you beat them. I mean, there's got to be an advantage, even though you're playing in their house this time. The fact that you know we can beat this team. We did it. We we saw this team. Uh, that has to be a confidence builder. Also, I wanted to ask you about Bryce Love. Obviously, he, he might be the runaway favorite this year to win the Heisman. He was runner-up a year ago. you got to – Close look at this guy. What do you think makes him such a tough back? Why is he so good? Um, because he's very smart, very athletic, very fast, very quick. I mean, when he sees the hole, he hits it. He's not going to wait. I mean, he takes advantage of every yard he can get, and he's just a great running back. Uh, so how do you slow him down? Great offensive line. Yeah, I mean, what? I mean, how do you how do you slow when a guy is as I mean, he averaged what nine yards a carry? I mean, some ridiculous number a year ago. How do you slow a guy like that down? Uh, as a collective unit, the defensive line gets gets off blocks. The linebackers and the, the secondary comes up and make plays. I mean, you never can shut down a guy like that completely, but to limit his yards and limit what they do offensively is going to be huge for us. Aztec safety Tariq Thompson with us here on Extra 1360 Fox Sports San Diego. Tariq, how similar are they offensively to what they were last year? Steve just mentioned you're going to have Bryce Love. I, do they still have that big physical road grading offensive line? Oh, they do. I mean, Stanford's known for the big physical offensive line. Uh, they get after you. Um, very intelligent linemen. Very strong linemen. And uh, they have great coaches. I mean, they stick to their game plan. They never really switch up. And they run their offense as good as we run our offense. I mean, physical running game. And 
a quarterback can throw the ball. Um, Kendrick Costello, very good quarterback. Um, they have many many options at receiver, many options at tight end, as we've seen last year. Um, it just, it's just going to be collective collective game as a defense. We need to uh, stop every aspect of their team. Tariq, and we mentioned last year you started the opening game. Well, you started every game as a freshman, true freshman, first defensive starter to do that in eight years, any freshman in uh, four years uh, for the Aztecs. Uh, think back a year ago as you were getting ready for that first game as opposed to now. What, what did you learn going into your freshman year that maybe is different as you're preparing for the start of your sophomore season? Um, as a freshman, I feel like I wasn't really knowing what to do, like like what to expect as a college game because, you know, as your first game comes around, like you're never really used to it, you're never really comfortable. This year, now that I have a, a season under my belt, I feel like I'm way more prepared, like mentally, physically. And like with all the uh, all the different things that college football has in store, uh, I feel like it gives a better view of what I'm supposed to do as a football player, as a person, and it's just a great opportunity to get better. Tariq, I know you're a St. Augustine alum. Was there any thought of of maybe you know taking it to a higher level, coming out of eighth grade, and maybe going to Cathedral instead of Saints? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, there was there's no. Uh, there's no thought of that because my cousin, uh, he went to St. Augustine the year before I did, mm-hmm. and I kind of wanted to stick with him. My my father thought, thought it would be the best idea to, for me and him to stick together. Uh, my brother-in-law coached at St. Augustine the freshman basketball while I was there for a little bit, and, yeah, he just saw this on Saints, and Saints a good school. I mean, I wouldn't change it. The brotherhood was amazing. Uh, teachers, faculty, staff was just very welcoming, and this is a great opportunity uh, for me to – like achieve everything I want to achieve at the academic level and athletic level. See, Tariq, I'm a Don's alum, and <laughs> you know we're supposed to be mortal enemies, but it's kind yeah. of hard now that you're an Aztec. I've I've got a pull for you, so it's kind of tough for me. So it's an adjustment period for you guys coming out of Saints. You understand, right? <laughs> yeah, um, we have a, lot, a couple of a uh, couple of San Augustine and Cathedral guys on the team. It's pretty funny, you know, because they try to bring up scores from two years ago and last year, so. <laughs> pretty interesting. I mean, it keeps the locker room dynamic and uh, a lot l- of people. Uh, yeah, I, I was just going to, let's keep things in perspective here. You were in high school uh, when his dad was playing at San Diego State. All right, so this is, I know. This is I ancient know. history, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is this is really ancient. I'm very, trying to trip him up. Very quick final uh, question for you here, Tariq. You, you mentioned the fact that you, you want to obviously up your game, and I'm looking at your numbers last year, starting every game, 63 tackles, you had three tackles for losses, five interceptions for 83 yards and a touchdown. You forced a fumble, fumble recovery, four pass breakups, three quarterback hurry. In what part of your game do you think that you need to take it to the next level? I feel like everything. I mean, I felt like I wasn't aggressive enough on balls. I felt like I didn't make enough tackles. I mean, everything for me is constantly need to get better. I mean, I never feel like I've mastered one skill yet. I mean, I'm not professional, obviously. So I have a lot of improvement to make in every area. And I just need to be a better teammate, a better vocal leader. What's one of the most important goals for me this year? Tariq, you turned us on your on our ears last year with what you're able to do as a freshman. We're so excited to see what you're going to do as a sophomore, but more importantly, what you're going to do as a member of the Aztecs. Thank you so much for the visit and cannot wait for that Stanford game. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. He's a good one. He is really good. Tariq Thompson, he will be an All-American when it's all said and done in his San Diego State career.